Hi everybody, welcome back to Educating Adventures. My name is Sarah and today we are gonna be talking about some of the incredible things that make you exactly who you are. We're gonna be talking about the things that make you different from your friends and even different from your brothers and sisters. We are gonna be learning all about traits. So let's go ahead and get started. When we think about a trait, we can think about our characteristics. Like we said before, traits are things that make us exactly who we are. There are some traits that humans all have in common with one another, but traits are also what make us unique, that make us different from our friends and our siblings. Now, traits can be physical or they can be behavioral. When we think about a physical trait, this is something that an animal has. It's something that we can see with our eyes. It's something we can measure. It's something about them that is physical. When we think about behavioral traits, now we're thinking more about something that an animal does. So this is gonna be an action or a behavior. So traits can be both physical and behavioral, and we're gonna look at a whole bunch of examples today. And some traits we actually get from our parents, they're passed down or inherited, and other traits we develop during our lifetime. So an inherited trait might be something like our eye color or the fact that a leopard has spots. An acquired trait might be something like, we know how to read. We weren't born knowing how to read, we had to learn, we had to acquire that during our lives. Acquired traits might also be something like an elephant with a broken tusk. But if you wanna learn more about inherited and acquired traits, we have a whole nother video that you can check out to learn more about that. Today, we are gonna be focusing more on the difference of physical and behavioral traits. A lot of these times, traits can impact whether an animal is able to survive in their environment or not. And traits aren't just something that humans have, they're something that all different animals have as well. So we're gonna start off by looking at some traits that humans have. Let's start off with some physical traits that humans have. So this is stuff when you look around and you look at other humans, this is stuff that we can see about ourselves. And like we said before, there are some traits that all humans share. Most humans, we have two ears that allow us to hear what's going on around us. Most humans also have two eyes that allow us to see. However, if you look around and you pay special attention to your friends and family, you might notice that a lot of us have different colored eyes. So that trait, which is something we can see, making it a physical trait, our eye color is what makes us unique. It makes us different from our friends and our family. We might also think of our hair color. We're not all born with the same colored hair. So this is a physical trait that again, makes us unique. We said physical traits you have to be able to see or be able to measure. So we might also think of something like our height. Our height is something about us that we can see, we can measure. So are things like our shoe size. And our shoe size might change during our lives, but that is a trait that we can see and measure, so it's physical. Now let's think about some behaviors that humans do. One thing that all of us do is we breathe air, right? And breathing air is not physical. That is something we do. If we take in a big breath of air, that's an action, it's a behavior. It's something that all humans do. Humans also laugh and cry. We show emotion in different ways and laughing is an action, crying is an action. So these are behaviors. And something that I'm doing a lot of right now is talking. We might talk in different accents, we might even speak different languages, but most humans communicate through talking. Something else I'm sure all of you do pretty much every day is you walk around. Humans, we have two legs, that's a physical trait, but walking around on two legs, that's a behavior, it's something that we do. Some other things that I'm sure a lot of you guys do or are learning how to do is riding a bike. That's a behavior, it's something fun that we do, not something that we have. Or reading a book. Humans learn how to read, some of us really love to read. That's a behavior, something that we do. 
So humans, we have both physical and behavioral traits. Some of them we share with all the other humans, but other ones make us unique. Now, I know that humans are animals, but we're going to think about some other animals here for a couple minutes. We're going to think about wildlife and we're going to start with our physical traits. And the first animal that I thought of was a, a snake. This is Smoke and Smoke is a beautiful corn snake. And one of her really apparent physical traits is her bright orange color. The color of her scales are something that we can see. We can look at it with our eyes. So her scales are a physical trait. We might also think of an animal like a, a tortoise. This is walnut and walnut is a baby sulcata tortoise. But like all tortoises, one really obvious physical trait that walnut has is his big shell. Now his shell is really important and special. It helps keep him safe from predators. So this is a really important physical trait for tortoises. Now let's think about some other animals. If we think of an animal like a bird, which is one of my favorite animals, we can think of all sorts of physical traits that they have. They have really incredible beaks, but something else they have that of course we think of when we think of a bird is a feather. So this feather belongs to a great blue heron, and this is a medium sized feather. Feathers are used for all sorts of different reasons, like to keep a bird warm or to help them fly. So feathers are a physical trait that birds have. We can see them. And some birds have medium sized feathers like the great blue heron, but other birds have really giant feathers like the Argus pheasant. They have these incredibly huge tail feathers that they use to help them attract a mate. So this again is a really important physical trait. Some other physical traits kind of on the same lines as a tortoise's shell is a, a porcupine's quills. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know that quills are used to help keep porcupines safe. They're very sharp and they help them ward off any predators that might want to eat them. Another animal that has kind of this similar type of protective physical trait is a, a stingray, just like you see here on the wall behind me. Stingrays have very large barbs that are sharp and pointy, and when there's a predator around, they can use their barb as a weapon to help protect themselves. So animals have all sorts of physical traits that are used for many different reasons. But now let's look at some of their behavioral traits. If we think back to smoke, our corn snake, most snakes are what we call sit and wait predators or ambush predators, which means something they do is they'll kind of hide, they'll be really still and they'll wait for any little animals to run by and then they strike. So being an ambush predator is something they do that helps them to catch their food. If we think back to walnut, the tortoise, something that lots of tortoises do that help them to survive is they dig burrows. They'll move all sorts of dirt and sand out of the way and that way they have somewhere to go that's out of the sun and that's nice and safe. They're kind of protected from predators. If we think of the birds that we mentioned with their beautiful feathers, something that they do is they build a nest. This is somewhere safe that they can raise their babies and hang out if there's bad weather. So birds, they build a nest. And similar to a bird, we might think of a bat. Bats, something that they do, a behavioral trait, is they fly. They're the only flying mammal in the entire world, which makes them really, really unique and special. And again, if we think of our stingray friends here, something that they do, a behavioral trait about them, is they swim, just like all fish. So stingrays, they swim. They swim to avoid predators or to follow after their food. Swimming is a really important behavioral trait for them and all sorts of different fish. So these physical and behavioral traits that we just mentioned, both for humans and for other animals, we just learned that they're pretty important in order for those animals to survive. So traits, not only do they make us kind of unique from one another, they're also really important for an animal's survival. 
So now we know that there are a whole bunch of different traits in the animal kingdom from both humans and other animals. And there's a really big difference between physical and behavioral traits. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about physical and behavioral traits today. And I really hope we see you guys next time at our next educating adventure. For more fun information, activities and quizzes and all sorts of fun stuff, be sure to check out our website. Our link is below. Have a great day.